The psalmist says in the 27th Psalm, verse number four, one thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Wow, I love that verse. I love the 27th Psalm. It's just a great one. It's part of the reading for today from Numbers chapters 10 and 11, Psalm 27 and Mark chapter 1. Desire, he says, the one thing that I desire. Uh, that desire is the thing. That is the one thing. Everything falls into place after that. And what is it that follows desire? Seeking the desire of one's heart. That implies, I think, diligence on our part. It requires effort, determination, because there are all kinds of uh, obstacles, all kinds of distractions that would keep us from seeking the Lord and to dwell in his presence. But there, there is a constancy in this whole thing. It's a lifelong pursuit. It's a pursuit that is satisfying, yet we remain unsatisfied. The reason? Well, God is knowable for sure, yet unknowable in the sense that we're never going to know everything. We're never going to come to that final place where we say, ah, I know everything about God. That's just not going to happen. Uh, and I, as I think about that, I think that really is the wonder of it all. Paul says to know the love of God, which passes understanding or knowing. Uh, the closer we get, I think the greater the realization of just how great the distance is between us. The more we know him, the more we realize how little we do know. And uh, so there, that, I think that what that does is create a desire for more of him, a, a longing to know him. Uh, how is that possible? Well, dwelling in his presence is the key to all of that. We know him. And, and how long is that going to last? Well, it's a lifelong pursuit. Uh, it's both here and then. Uh, as we walk this pilgrim pathway, we walk in the knowledge that no matter come what may, he is there. We walk with him by faith, knowing, knowing that he is there, even when we can't see him, and especially when we can't feel him. That's the dwelling in his presence part of it. But that also carries with it the hope of a future dwelling in his presence, where there's not going to be, hallelujah, any distance, no uh, sense of where is God, no feeling if or wondering if he is there. Our flesh is not going to hinder anymore. Certainly the enemy of our souls will not be there to accuse us or to hinder us in any way. Uh, it's just going to be the glory and the wonder of being in the presence of God for all eternity. Praise the Lord. What a special thing that is that the Lord has done for us. He has given us access and we pursue him knowing that he loves us and cares for us and we trust him and obey him. It's a part of our walk and the hope that we have that one day we will be with him forever. Praise the Lord. Well, I pray it's a blessing to, to you today to just to dwell on that and to think about that. And once again, let me just say how much I appreciate all the likes and the shares and uh, the subscriptions to the YouTube channel and all that. And by the way, if uh, you're watching this on Facebook, you can access all of all of the dailies or the Friday night studies by going to the YouTube channel, somegoodseeds.org, and you can find them there and uh, access them if you want to. Anyway, thanks so much again, and I pray the Lord will richly bless you today.